is the heat. You're so obvious. It must be those tacky threads. We gotta do something about changing your image. I just thought I'd invite myself in, okay? Why stand on ceremony? When old acquaintances get together, who needs the formality of a warrant? Well, look at this. All this amazement, this mute surprise. Why in the world would a lieutenant of detectives come calling at such an unearthly hour? What do you say, Kojak? Lieutenant Kojak, you cockroach. Well, <laughs> as I live and breathe, Warren G. Harding. The name is Gantz, Lieutenant. I believe we've met before. Of course we have. Counselor, I book him and you bail him. Between us, we make a great revolving door. And last but not least, this cluster of debutantes. Hey, look, Deidre, I'm sorry I missed your coming out party. I hear you were crowned Miss Silicon. Is that right? Hey, Kojak, did you come here to break in a nightclub back door, or was there something special you wanted? Hey, Counselor, you tell your client to have his mouth behave. Or he's a prime candidate for a get well card. He threatened me. You heard that? He threatened me. Greeks, they don't threaten. They are the prophecies. Naturally, Lieutenant. Mr. DeChico desires to cooperate, but... But, uh, when I get to the point? The point is, Counselor, one of my detectives, Eddie Ryan, does uh, that name ring any chimes? Captain Midnight, the darling of the Daily News. All of that and she can read, too. And that's right. And he went from page one to the obituary columns, and I was wondering if Sally could tell us how that happened. <laughs> that don't sound like no brain stumper to me. I'd say that Ryan must be dead. You'd say! Now you you know we wish to! Call it! Crud! How could I know a thing like that? Because at 117, in the West Village, Artie Fleischman was present when you pumped a load of number five into Eddie Ryan's gut. At 1.17 a.m., I was going down double, redoubled, and highly vulnerable in a six no trump. And so say you all, right? Lieutenant, would you be kind enough to explain to me the basis for this preposterous allegation? Well, there are two alternatives, Counselor. I know Artie Fleischman didn't do it. I mean, with no priors before. What can he get on a counterfeiting rap? Zip to five? In other words, he wasn't motivated, Counselor. And, uh, Mr. DeChico has a motivation? A two-time loser, parolee. If he goes up again, he gets life plus ten. Motivated? He'd wipe out an entire precinct. You know, shadow boxing, Kojak. If you could tie me to the lottery action, you'd have pulled me in. If you could make me on the Ryan hit, I'd be wearing bracelets. Let's face it, you got nothing! Did you forget one thing, Goomba? Artie Fleischman puts you at the scene of the murder. He puts you there with a gun in your hand. Is he gonna sing? He's gonna wobble like a speed freak nightingale. To Chico residence. Just a minute. It's for you, Lieutenant. Here. Lieutenant, I just left Fleischman's pad. Missed him about five minutes. The alarm's out already, but don't hold your breath. The super said he took off like a man who's five years behind in his alimony. <laughs> 